Welcome to Dr. Jester Runs, and I'm gonna rant about, well, more consolation. Yeah, what else is new? It's the reason why I agree <clears throat> with Mr. Arch. You know, the blondie, the Norwegian blondie, the Viking, or the fat Viking, if you prefer, but, uh, something like that. Either way, he is absolutely 100% correct. Again. <clears throat> and let me uh, let me share this first. This is guy behind one of the guys behind the real clownfish, and uh, he actually did cover this as well. So I'm covering it, giving my opinion because I actually believe my opinion is way more important than everything else. Yes, I think that highly of me. <clears throat> anyway, <clears throat> here is what he said. Am I reading this correct, uh, correctly? It's Gen Con saying they are effectively banning TSR from attending because of Twitter drama. And oh, um, before I go on, I need to make it myself very clear. You're gonna see a bunch of tweets and a lot of tweets from people who are easily, easily offended, easily, easily triggered. And then, do not contact them, do not talk to them, do not look at them, do not stare at them, do not disagree with them. Yes, even all those things. <clears throat> Why? Because disagreement, even if you say, hey, I respectfully disagree with this, they will think not only that it is harassment, but they'll consider it a death threat. Yes, they are definitely that uh, insane and they lack self-awareness. <clears throat> So please, 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 do not talk to them, do not look at them, do not contact them, do not mention them, do not stare at them, do not disagree with them, okay? Alright? You have been warned! Don't do any of those things! Alright? Okay, let's go. <clears throat> anyway, uh, this is Gen Con. Gen Con is not associated with... Oh, no, 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 no. No, it needs to be soy. Uh, the Gen Con is not associated with TSR games, and we don't support their recent statement. Well, the foundation of Gen Con is start with the history of TTRPGs. Our goal is to build off the good acknowledged bad and work towards a present free from racism, misogynism, and homophobism. Ah. Oh! <sighs> And the other person has replied. The question remains: Are they invited? Have a booth? My business will not share space with TSR, and your attendees will not want to either. And then, <clears throat> Gen Con replies: Oh no, they don't have a booth, nor are they running any events. <laughs> well, that's your loss because <clears throat> you've simply lost most people out on Gen Con because people actually want the original Dungeons and Dragons and just so you know TSR <clears throat> sorry about that TSR is actually part of the original people the old school the Dungeons and Dragons the stuff that you ah, the, 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 how do you put it the, the origins, the original awesome people behind everything you have today. Because, as you know, look at this is what they say on their Twitter bio. The Game Wizards, founded in 1973 by Gary Gygax. Yes, the guy behind Dungeons and Dragons. And Don Kane, reformed in 2020 by Justin Lanasa, Ernest G. Gygax Jr. as in the actual son of Gary Gygax and Stephen E. Dinehart. Exactly! They want to gatekeep out these the actual creators out of our hobbies. They want to destroy everything we care and I'm probably trying to open a file looking yeah, but I like to make a point. And these people are destroying everything we love. These people are in fucking sane. Jesus Christ. They, they, let me put that in another way. We should have gate kept them out. Here it is, the image. Also shared by art. 
but this one is I have it in my hard drive for quite some time. Anyway, this is for George Alexopoulos, Apollos, something like that. Could I play? Uh, sure. Uh, this game is too difficult. Can we change it? No, we have been playing it uh, this way for years. Why are you excluding me? And that's exactly what happened to our hobbies. This is why we should have gate kept them. This is why when we initially thought, hey, let's go. Oh, dude, let's play. Oh, hey, more people joining in. Oh, you are welcome. I don't give a shit how you look. Let's come in, come in. I don't care if you like shoving stuff off your butt or you like shoving your dick up under somebody's butt. I don't care. Come in, you're welcome. Let's enjoy the game. And then suddenly, hey, why are you kicking me out? I am the one who allowed you in. And this, my friends, this is why we gatekeep. We gatekeep. We should not have let these morons with uh, <clears throat> red, pink, blue, green hair into our hobbies. We should not have let them in. We should have get kept them out. And here it is one very good example. Remember, do not talk to these people. Do not contact them. Do not stare at them. Do not disagree with them. Do not talk to them. All right? Do consider it not only a harassment, but a death threat as well. Anyway, here it is what one day one of these morons say. Oh, uh, listen, tax to oxygen, please. Get invalidated by Ernie Geiger. Shit's gonna get loud in the scene for a while. Close ranks, shields up, I don't give an inch. Oh, the DHT RPG scene is ours. Loving up and ready to keep it that way. Look out for each other, badasses. <laughs> and these, my friends, are them trying to <clears throat> defend the concrete land after they kicked us out. Now it is time to shield up, lower the pikes and prepare for battle, for we are the mighty 300, or eventually a thousand. Who knows? Get it? Get the reference? Uh, uh, either way. <clears throat> it is one example as to why we should gatekeep them. Look at the hair! Danger hair! Danger hair! Danger hair! And plus, they also have pronoun in their bios. <sighs> Look what that moron said. Uh, no. Eh, there is a new reason we put antiques in museums and open cells. It's so we can stand back and say, yeah, this is how things used to be, but look at what we have now. See, TTRPGs are popular now, and they need to evolve with time so more people can enjoy gathering around the table. See? And now we have more examples of stupidity. <clears throat> look at this. Uh, let's see. Uh, d and may never have been a perfect diamond, uh, but he's right about one thing. We will not give it back to those that work so gleefully to oppress, objectify, and exclude. This is ours now. Ours. Ah! We'll make it better with every story we tell together. Squat up, shit's fucking wall. <laughs> no, you fucking imbeciles. You, will, you cannot have it back. You cannot have it. We are going to stand against this nonsense. We want our hobby back. We want the stuff we fucking created that you people initially liked it, but now decided to change everything to fit your goddamn filthy agenda. We want that stuff back. Sound the horns of battle. Let the dogs lose the dogs of war. Okay, sorry. I'm gonna calm myself now. Either way. Once again, it was always open. We never discriminated against anyone. We, that's the reason why you filthy cocksucking imbeciles got in in the first place. Yes, because we were open. Now, let me go and show you to you guys how absolutely amazing 
This is obviously it's too expensive and way too expensive for me to ever own or anything like that. But let me show it to you guys. <clears throat> How this is awesome has always been open, has always been great. And look at the fucking art. This is an art that that you look at it and you stare for quite some time. As a kid, I used to stare at my Dungeons and Dragons box uh, quite a lot um, for the art style and the immersion that it gave and looking at the story that the picture told you. You looked at one square and one area and it told you a story just by looking at it. I miss that. Look at it. Look at how beautiful it is. It's diverse. It has woman and It has other species. It has a dude with an awesome Chuck Norris beard with a Rambo thing tied on his forehead. Look at this. Look at the art. This is the stuff I want. Look, it tells you a story every single square. Look what, how these two met. Who are they? What's their story? Oh, look, they have an AK-47-ish look-alike thingy. And the woman is hot as well. <clears throat> and the dudes are looking. What are the reason why they are hunting this? Oh, look at that. There's another monster-ish thingy out of here. Oh, another one. A snake. Look at this. This is the art we want. This is the art we fucking crave as well. But, unfortunately, as you know, with the walk tards, um, arts like that is considered not only homophobic, but misogynistic. And all the stuff of ismus and ists. They are a retarded fucking bow craps. Look, I, I miss this. I miss all of this. Look, I miss this. They took all of that away from us. Look at how awesome it is. Look. Look. Uh, I want all of this back. And this, this is the son of Gary Gygax. They are, they are the OG. They are the original people behind it all. And this is why. This is why, ladies and gentlemen, the gentle things, thingamabobs, and doohickeys, we keep them out. This is why, this is why, we should, as always, keep these people out of our hobbies. Because if we fucking don't, well, we are gonna get in, we are gonna end up with, ah, retarded crap. Let's see this image here. Um, huh. no, let's see now. No, I don't think I have a good image for this. Uh, crap. Anyway, I should have prepared myself for this, but uh, I was too piped up to actually care to prepare myself. Anyway, this is their website. TSR, the they should be allowed to participate. We should be allowed to have them. Look at this. This is the stuff we want. I want this. I want. I want this back. People, please. Let's fight against these people. Not in a violent way, but we should keep gate, keep them out. They should be out. They should get out of our hobbies. Remember, not in a violent way. With speech. Always with speech. <clears throat> we should get our shields up. We should raise our swords and guns or whatever and keep them out they are not welcome in our hobby anymore they should never have been in there in the first place and they should never never have been let in anyway let's see <clears throat> i don't think they read it it evolved it evolved would be more accurate in my opinion that being said i have a love hate relationship with 5e but there are tons of us that are still Remember, do not contact these people. <clears throat> ah. Remember, people, Kate, keep them out. Remember the days. No, remember the days when it used to be <clears throat> nah, two genders, orcs were evil and things like that. Well, turns out Dungeons and Dragons goes woke. 
from the spectator world. <laughs> and this, uh, they obviously go into detail. See, here, Gary Gygax. See? That's exactly what I want. <clears throat> back! I want that back! Anyway, Piney continued. Virginia High School was an year good. Despite the negative press, on game sales rose from thousands to millions mid by the mid 80s. Now, obviously, the guy is telling the story. Anyway, Wizards of the Coast, which was a massive. It used to be a good company, but now they are infested with the cancerous blob of woke tards. And they've destroyed the Dungeons and Dragons and their own product, which was Magic the Gathering. They've destroyed everything. <clears throat> anyway, to control D&D &D in 1997 and is far removed from the leadership which reigned during this satanic panic. A new disclaimer of the D&D story reads, We will recognize some of the legacy content available on this website does not reflect the values of Dungeons and Dragons franchise today. This is why we gatekeep these morons. <clears throat> some older content may reflect ethnic, racial and gender prejudices that were commonplace in America. It wasn't uh, American society at the time. It wasn't. It never was, you morons. These depictions were wrong then and not wrong today. It never existed in the first place in Dungeons and Dragons. And back then, it, they barely had any of those things. Stop making shit up. Dungeons and Dragons teaches that diversity is a strength. And we strive to make our d, &D products as welcoming and inclusive as possible. <laughs> Jesus Christ. You're not making your products welcoming or inclusive, you're changing it and excluding people, the original people who made this game popular. This part of our work will never end. While many in the online media sphere welcome their reforms with open arms, veterans and your players have concerns. Yeah, that's way of, one way of putting it. <clears throat> They say Dungeons and Dragons teaches that diversity is strength, but their efforts to inject so-called diversity to D&D &D will only dilute the setting by stripping it of its core elements. Yes, because for instance, they want even fucking wheelchairs on Dungeons and Dragons. Now imagine, you are invading a dungeon, you are in, and then you throw a temper tantrum because the dungeon master and the lich in the dungeon or the demon, or whatever you want to call it, decided to only have stairs in the dungeon instead of accessible ramps for the wheelchair heroes. Yeah, this is retarded. Or that the people behind the wheelchair as uh, are way more powerful, or they can. Um, more powerful than people without wheelchairs, or that if the dungeon ma master decides to target the wheelchair, somehow they cannot target it. Yes, those are the new rules. Yeah, welcome to woke shenanigans. Anyway, some some of these changes don't really bother me. With other words, speaks of portrayal of orcs and drawing in less negative light. For instance, I think one of the most fun things about D and D is that dungeon master and the player can put their own spin on the family, the familiar fantasy archetypes. Another another thing, another thing that they have is that certain races receive benefits and buffs and debuffs based on the race. Humans uh, was mostly on the neutral, while orcs and things like that receive buffs in certain areas and debuffs in others. And that is what it should be, but apparently that is not true anymore. Well, that's why we gatekeep, 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 gatekeep. Anyway, if you like this type of content, stay right here on YouTubeFucking.com. No. YouTube.com. No. Fuck you, YouTube. Da YouTube. Fuck you, YouTube.com forward slash Dr. Chester. If you like more spicy content, head to BitChute.com forward slash Dr. Chester or Minds.com forward slash Dr. Chester for spicy and exclusive content. You know, content that I cannot talk or share in your own goddamn filthy YouTube. Anyway. Oh, and on that note, I need to check if BitChoot has already synced up my channels. Oh, I'm gonna need to check that. Either way, thank you for watching. Have a great fucking night! And remember, gatekeep.